सो हाय एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ऑटो कोरिलेशन बाय इन एक्सेल इन साइंस इट इज वेरी इजी टू डू एंड आई कुड नॉट फाइंड अ गुड वीडियो वेयर समबडी एक्सप्लेन्ड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ऑटो कोरिलेशन बाय हैंड और इन एक्सेल सो दिस इज जस्ट अ ट्राई टू डू इट and uh, i have tested this data i have first uh, calculated the variables uh, the data in uh, sas and then i took the values in excel then i uh, used the formula and i calculated it by hand so this is my uh, data the the data is uh, sales for iphone where i we have sold uh, say apple have sold 10 20 24 30 and all those data and i I I made the average or the mean out of it, and I labeled it as Y T. So throughout you will be able to you need to uh, remember this Y T because this is the first or the starting variable. Okay. The second thing is what I am doing is if you see that, go and check the formula, it will be basically a, a sum of Y T minus Y R or the mean of Y. Multiply by y t minus k minus uh, y bar or mean of y, and uh, which you are going to divide by y t minus y bar uh, and square it, uh, square and then divide it. Okay. So the formula in autocorrelation is not so difficult to understand. Uh, so. first what we need to find out from this formula is y t minus y bar or the y mean so what is our mean 33.42 what i did i minus if you see i minus b 23 means this minus b 30 which is this and i did it for all the seven values over here okay the second thing is yt minus k1 and y mean okay so here you basically not doing any sort of calculation you are shifting the value one downwards so if you see 23.42 over here same 23.42 over here okay then again you have to do it for lag 2 or two values down then you are making this 23.42 over there and again 23.42 comes there so it is like a staircase if you see and it is going just one value down depends on how many lags you want to calculate here i'm trying to calculate three lags so 1 2 and 3 if you want to do for 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can do it after some time obviously there will be no value after say 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so it up to you how many how many lags you want to calculate here i'm trying to calculate only 3 lags okay so the second thing is that i uh, hope i have i uh, hope you have understood this point right you are basically taking this value and you have minus this value with the mean of yt correct i hope you have got it right why i'm saying it is yt because it is little bit it will be little difficult if i don't say it yt basically it is y minus y bar how you basically use to calculate standard deviation covariation or correlation all those things so y minus y bar okay once i did that i no need to do further any calculation i just need to move one place down the same data i i can copy this and i'm going to one place down just like this and i'm removing the last data because i don't need that so i did it for 3 because i need to calculate the 3 lakhs here what i am doing i need it because i need to calculate for lag 1 okay so what i am doing is i am taking this value and i am multiplying with this okay so if you see i am multiplying with d and e 
so same value will appear on all the cases the same formula will be continue here i am what i am doing i am taking the value of this and i am multiplying with this because this will this will give me the result or i need it for calculating the for the lag 2 what is the correlation in lag 2 so what i did i am multiplying d is equal to into f d into f and the same formula applies till here then for the third value what i am doing i am same thing i am taking the 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 first value and i am which is column d and i am multiplying with column g okay so all my calculations are done i'm not doing anything over here right now now if you see this part which is the which will be the denominator of the formula which is basically used in autocorrelation function this is basically the square root of yt minus y bar okay so you just do it in excel and you make a sum of it you make a sum of it the last thing what we are going to do is we are going to multiply these two values yt minus y1 and this value okay so why you need it basically this this values you need if you want to calculate the covariance if you see this covariance okay uh, 1.42 46.10 point this nothing you just sum it up sum it up and you divide it by the number of observations you have so if you see I've, I've divided it by number of observations which i have about six so i get the covariance okay so this this three these three basically won't uh, tell you about any more about the correlation but this if you want to calculate the covariance of it then you can use these formulas okay so we are good with yt1 this one we need this one we need this one we need and this one we need. okay this one we need because we need to again calculate the the square root of it so we have created the square root okay the second thing what we are going to do we are going to multiply these two values okay so this is for lag one if you see this is lag one we are going to multiply these two same way we are going to multiply this and this okay means uh, if you see this k2 okay so this is two point two point down means lag two and same way k3 means three point down or lag three so i have used the same thing over here so first what you are doing first you are uh, whatever value you have over here you are taking the square root of it and make a total of it then second thing you will be multiplying with the yt minus y bar into yt minus k1 which is one lag behind which is this okay then you will be summing it up so once you sum all those things one after one what you have to do for lag one you are going to divide this by this okay so what i did I divided the, the total value of L1 by the yt minus the square root of yt minus y bar. So if you see this is 5.39. My SAS values were also 5.39.95. Exactly the same. The second thing what we are doing, we are going to the same thing. We are summing, we have already summed it up and we are dividing uh, dividing this value with this value this is constant this will never change only for lag 1 lag 2 and lag 3 it will you will be multiplying you will be multiplying this value with this for lag 1 for lag 2 you will be multiplying this value with this and for lag 3 you will be multiplying this value with this because you are shifting one place down 
and finally when you have to calculate the autocorrelations you just 